Bella Box. That would be it. Uh, you can see uh, her here oh. beside us. What did I do to it? Uh, you leaned on her and she spoke to you. Did you hear that? Yeah. Come on, can you hear? It talks. It talks. It does all that. Yeah. Anyway, she's one of Ireland's robotic waiters delivering food to customers and restaurants. The future is now, folks. We'll be finding out exactly how she works in places. So hang on, the, I, the AI produced yesterday, now we've an AI waiter. Listen, it's only a matter of time before something like that will be taken over from us. Oh. You're very welcome back. Now, robots delivering your food in a restaurant might seem like something that's very far in the future, but it's actually happening right now. Bella Bot is in studio with us this morning. You may have seen her a little earlier on, scaring the bejesus out of me, <laughs> uh, along with John Moran and David Webb from Reliance Automation. You're both very welcome Thanks to the show. Much. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. So this is Bella Bot. This Please do Bella. tell us what, what she is and what she does. Bella is a service delivery bot. So I do for restaurants, hotels, you can carry your food from the kitchen down to the table where your customer is and back to the kitchen again, and it'll even take away the cutlery. What oh. now? So you, I presume you place it, it doesn't have hands or anything? It like doesn't that. have hands, no. It'll interact with the kitchen and the kitchen staff and the staff can call it from A to B and, and move it from uh, points that are pre-loaded on the system. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so Dave, sorry, uh, how does it actually work without bashing into everything? Mm -hmm. And sorry, I'm, I'm not great when no, it comes to question. electronics. Like, what, sorry, what sort of technologies are involved here? Uh, SLAM technology is what it's called, which is simultaneous localization and mapping. <laughs> okay, okay. Very simple, means. really. It's a bit early. It's got a laser <laughs> scanner at the bottom of it, and yeah. it's constantly scanning the area to see what's around it the whole time, and loads of different sensors all over it um, to make sure it doesn't bump into anything. But I suppose, like, look, same as your iPhone, there's loads of complex things going on in the background yeah. in there. You don't need to worry about any of that. You just need to know how easy it is to operate and how reliable it is to operate. So. Very, very yeah, simple. God, I could use some of those lasers sometimes. <laughs> and uh, they seem very futuristic, but they're being used in restaurants now. What's the demand like for them? It's it's high, yeah. There's a lot of, um, especially in the hospitality side of things, staff shortages and the rest of that. So um, this is one way that people can help their businesses to be able to alleviate that issue. Because we have a, a shortage in, in catering staff at the moment in, in hotels and restaurants all over yeah. uh, Ireland. So this could could help with this. Like I was in Spain once and actually I did get served by one of those yeah. things, mm -hmm. but I did not know they could talk. They can talk, <laughs> yeah, they can this interact. This scare me. Tell me the features of it. Uh, some of the features, it can talk, it can sing. It can sing? Yeah, if well, if Happy if you birthday's ask, like birthdays. a triple yeah, trash, yeah, is yeah, it? it's very good, yeah. <laughs> um, it can sometimes, if you program it correctly, it can ask or tell jokes as well. Now, not this morning, obviously, but maybe at a later date we can show you that. Oh, um, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, and it can light up as well. There's loads of little features on it. Really interesting for family restaurants as well, a kind of interactive system for kids and parents alike. Of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. And what do you expect to see now, like, say, in the next year or two? Do you see them really taking off? Yeah, most definitely. Like, um, I think there's expectations that kind of by 2025, there's going to be several thousand of these in the Irish market. And mm. um, they're they're massive globally, and about 70,000 units worldwide. Other markets have taken them up, and they are a little bit newer to Irish markets. Mm. But um, it's it's something we're definitely going to see more and more of as we go out. Yeah, but it's amazing when you think how far we've come as yeah. well, even over the last number of years. Like the leaps and bounds of tech technology. How do you keep up? Um, every day is a new day. Uh, that's all <laughs> we can say. Um, every day is a new day and you try and just keep up with uh, the challenges that people are facing and try and see a niche in the market as well where you can help out and maybe add some value to their process. Well, I suppose necessity is the mother of invention really that's and that's what we, we, we see here. Um, so it's not unique in the family of uh, Bella Bosch. Does she have brothers or sisters or brothers, cousins or anything like that? Brothers and sisters. We were even demoing a, a cleaning robot yesterday. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it kind of like a, a very posh rumba? A very posh indeed, yeah. yeah. I think it went well with the local supplier we were looking at um, rolling these out a bit further, but really okay. impressive stuff. Now, yes, we're going to see Bella Bot in action. She's going to go collect a dinner from Catherine and deliver it to Martin. Bella Bot, do your thing. <laughs> Here she goes, right. No pressure. Over to the kitchen to Catherine where oh. she has the most delicious turkey and stuffing made. <laughs> I'm hoping Please Bella Bot actually. Please where dishes are placed and enter your table number. Yeah. Okay, table number. Right, off you go. Oh. Please choose the tray again and enter your... Oh, here, here she goes. Go. Yeah. She Martin, are you waiting? Are you ready, Martin? Of course, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bella. 
Here I am. <laughs> Fair play to you, Bella. Good to see. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Oh, and a Merry oh, Christmas yeah. to you as well, Bella. She's very sweet. Are you getting much time off over the Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Oh, no. oh. She's happy. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much thanks for coming for in and us. chatting to us about this. Yeah, John thanks. and Dave, we'll see you again. Have thank a great Christmas. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> over tomorrow. <laughs>